Jason Widro here with Online Strategy Podcast on this Monday, September 27th. The topic today, Google ranks and control of that content. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So when you have a product or you have a service and you want people to find it, generally speaking, the more visible and the higher you rank in Google, the better results you're going to have. In other words, more people will see you and be able to find you. So first off, I want to define what Google rank is in this podcast for what I'm talking about today. I'm not talking about paid advertising rankings. I'm talking specifically about organic ranks and, uh, any of your website pages and content that are naturally occurring in the Google search engine when people search for your product or service or information. So I've spoken about this many times, but really quick. So Google has a big mathematical system, a way in which they determine where websites rank based on many, many factors. Some of the most simple factors to understand are authentic website traffic, meaning a lot of website visitors that are on your website pages, you know, spending time there and interacting with your website. That is one of the simple points to understand and how to generate better search engine ranks. Um, Another point is obviously having helpful, useful content which correlates with that other point and goes without saying that why would someone spend time on your website if it wasn't something useful and why would people keep keep coming back if it wasn't useful information? So that's the first thing I'm going to say. If you really, really want to rank well in Google organically without paid advertising, create very, very useful information that helps people generally solve problems, and um, again, you could be up against a thousand other people who are solving the same exact problem. So one trick is find a problem that hasn't been solved and make sure that that information is available. And um, the more documentation you can provide on the website and pages in an easy-to-read format but comprehensive also can help because the volume and quantity of content is another factor that can come into consideration when uh, Google is indexing your website. So um, you might have remembered a time where you were looking for a tutorial on how to do something and the sites that were ranking the highest had long information and details about the exact subject you were looking for or trying to understand how to do. So it's very important and also keep in mind the relevance of the data on the page is equally important related to what people are searching for, you know? So if you're selling ABC widget and that's all you want people to know about, talk about ABC widget and go over all the benefits of ABC widget and what's included with ABC widget and what all the various factors that you can get, you know, related to that thing, you know? Um, Okay. So those are the simple points. Now, when we get into the more technical details of Google ranks and things that are, let's just put it this way. Let's say, for example, there's certain pages you don't want Google to index or there's certain website pages that you don't want Google to have as much priority on. That can be controlled as well. That can be a little more technically involved, but there are solutions for that within Google tool sets. So that's one thing. And uh, really what I could say is over the years, over the many, many years, everything is keeps becoming more distilled and distilled and distilled and distilled down into more very specific top topics and niches of information and data. So if you do want to rank well in Google, Again, going back to those earlier points, 
provide useful products, provide useful services, provide useful information about those products and services in volume and quantity, and not duplicated quantity where it's just a bunch of replicated information over and over on every website page, but be very specific from the title of the page all the way down through the information and tie it all together. Just think of how you would want to read a tutorial if you wanted to solve a problem, what you would expect and to be to walk through that and you know add pages with video include video uh, include proper page structure you know in the coding of the page which um, if you're not a website developer you can speak to your website developer and ask them about the hierarchy of the page and using proper tags and, and s separating the information correctly so that the search engine can also better interpret the structure of the information, not to mention, more, most importantly, the actual reader can um, decipher the structure of the page. So user friendliness is key. Helpful information is key. Volume is very good. And relevancy is very good, meaning staying on point, staying on topic, and um, keeping the information useful that way. So that's about all I have for you today. Just really more or less a quick tip and an overview of, you know, if you really want to rein in your Google search ranks. And uh, again, it goes without saying too and pushing on the point of, you know, there could be a thousand or 10,000 or a million other people on the same subject as you. So you really have to find a way to come up with something or introduce something that is new, fresh, inventive, um, you know, that hasn't been fully uh, documented in the same way. So, and of course, you can pay for advertising and promote your information to do a lot more to establish your presence and get traffic and all that. All kinds of things you can do for that. So, not to mention social media and everything else. All right. Again, Jason Widrow here, Online Strategy Podcast. That's all I have for you today. I hope something in this was helpful and uh, you took away something useful for you. So thanks for listening. Until next time, have a great night.